everyone today's makeup look is indian pakistani bridal looks uh, look and i have i'm creating this series of the bridal looks in which i will do the look of, of different occasions like for the dhol dholki look for the mehndi mayo and you know the bride uh, the barat day look and the reception day so i will do different makeup look even the wedding guest makeup look and if i'm missing some event uh, so you can let me know in the comment box so first i'm going to take this elf uh brow and lash wand and what i will do i'm going to brush my four eyebrows uh first in the downward direction because i don't want anything heavy so i'm going to use this uh wet and wild eyebrow pencil the shade is medium brown and by the way the voices which you are hearing uh right now we have just bought a cat kitten sorry so once i've done the eyebrows in the inward direction i will just comb my eyebrows and then i will fill in the direction of my hair so we have finished our eyebrows and i actually totally forgot that uh, i also had on the back of this eyebrow pencil but that's okay i have set my eyes with the maybelline age rewind concealer and after applying the concealer i have actually applied the loose powder from miniso and the next thing which i'm going to do i'm going to take this rose gold elf palette it's sunset palette and the shade which we are going to use is this uh, brown one I will apply it on my outer V and then I will slowly blend it out to reduce the intensity and then I will blend this shade into my crease. Then we need this precise brush and this shade I will take and I will just darken the outer corner. And I'm not dragging it anywhere. Now I need a clean blending br blending brush and I will clean the edges or diffuse the two shades together. And then uh, before we apply to the uh, before we apply eyeshadow on our inner corner of eye, I will using this shade and I will highlight my brow bone area and the inner corner of my eye. Now the shade which we are going to use is called um, from Morphe 35B palette and it's called the shade Lemonade. So for applying this brush shade, I'm, I have taken this e.l.f. eyeshadow brush, depth extra. One thing about this shade uh, Lemonade I have noticed, if you apply it too much, it just turns into like a chalk sort of uh, look. you have seen i have built the this golden eyeshadow color on my eyes and then uh, we are going to need another brush and another color to blend both these shades together and for this i'm taking this blending uh, brush from elf cosmetics so for blending the, both the shades i'm going to use this color which is called sunshine and i will just use it in between of these two shades so now what i'm going to do after finishing my uh my eyelid area i'm going to take my elf uh full coverage concealer and then i'm going to conceal my under eye area and before that i just want to remove everything which i have already applied so the shade which i'm going to use is this one and i'm not taking much but i'm just taking enough to cover my dark circle and just set it bit with the loose powder okay so after setting this uh, our under eye area i'm going to use this brown shade under my eyes and for that the brush which i'm going to use this should be the smallest one And 
with the help of a clean blending brush just blend now i will apply the eyeliner and the eyeliner which i'm going to apply is uh, is by miss rose and it's the pen eyeliner uh, it also has this you know stem so if you do not know how to apply the wing eyeliner you can use this stem but uh, i'm not going to use this stem and uh, i will actually make a you know i will just drag out it outside but i will not make a very much big wing because we want to make this look minimal so after applying the eyeliner part i'm going to curl my eyelashes and then i'm going to apply the mascara and the mascara which i'm going to use is by clinique Even before finishing this look, somehow I'm just feeling there is something missing. Uh, so for completing this missing part, I'm going to use this uh, pencil by Mix, which is basically a white pearl in shade. So you can see that I haven't done so much. I have just created the look with the softness, with glam and with everything and I haven't applied any sort of artificial eyelashes because usually we keep this artificial eyelashes uh, either for the mehndi or for the you know for the uh, reception look or for the barat day look so you can carry this look either in your own mehndi or in someone else mehndi or manya look